Sergeant McGovern, Story 2, Ten Hut. B Company of the 3rd Battalion of the 32nd Infantry was called Bronco Company instead of Bravo Company back in December of 1966. This was a brainchild of our company commander, Lieutenant Walden. Another invention of his was his Saturday morning meeting. Starting in December of 1966, we had a meeting every Saturday morning around 10 a.m. We would meet in a large Quonset hut with metal folding chairs set up theater style. Our company was small in the beginning, only 40 or 50 guys tops, even in early January of 1967. When we sat in our chairs facing the front of the meeting room, our company first sergeant would yell, Tan Hut, as Lieutenant Walden filed in from the back, and we would all jump up and yell, Bronco! The company first sergeant at the time was my favorite, Sergeant Luke McGovern. One cold Saturday, January morning, I walked in to take my seat. As I was walking through the front door, I could hear Sergeant McGovern say to one of my buddies, Is this a guy? My buddy said, Yes. Your buddy here tells me that you can imitate my tin hut, and you do it in a weapons platoon hooch to get a rise out of those guys. I nervously nodded in agreement. McGovern said, Lieutenant Walden is going to be a little late, so what I want you to do is to say tent hut like you do in a weapons platoon hooch, and let's see what happens. Okay, I said. So, as McGovern and I were standing by the doorway and the entire company sitting facing the front of the venue, I gave my best rendition. Hat hoot! I yelled. Everyone immediately jumped to their feet, stood at attention, and yelled at the top of their lungs, Bronco! McGovern turned his happy shade of red and yelled, Take your seats! He looked at me and said, Good job, Perkins. Just then, Lieutenant Walden walked through the door and McGovern let out with a, Can't! Everyone once again leapt to their feet in attention and yelled, Bronco! Well, except for one guy. That one guy, Bryant from the 1st Platoon, remained seated as everyone around him was still standing at attention. Bryant, with a big smile of satisfaction on his face, turned to look back at McGovern and me, demonstrating that he was an astute and observant trooper and wouldn't fall for the fake standard attention ruse. When McGovern spotted Bryant still sitting with his arms crossed over his chest and smiling with a look of satisfaction on his face, and as Lieutenant Walden was almost at the front of the meeting room, McGovern yelled, Bryant, get your mother blanket ass out of that mother blanket chair and stand at mother blanket attention, you sorry ass mother blanker. Bryant leapt to his feet and yelled, Bronco, while his skin color matched Sergeant McGovern's beat red. Quietly, I too was at the position of attention, with a look of satisfaction on my face, thinking to myself, my work here is done.